Hello, my name is Kelby Shelton, a product manager with Splunk Soar. And in this video, we'll go over the process of how you can use Splunk Soar's pre-built workflow for identifier reputation analysis, a technique outlined by MITRE DEFEND. Let's start by looking at our problem scenario. It looks like one of our users has received a suspicious email. As we take a closer look, we notice two artifacts in our event. First, we have the email that was submitted and a URL that has been extracted. Let's turn to our workbook and follow the steps in the standard operating procedures. We'll take ownership of the first task and read its description. The description indicates that the recommended playbook listed below will achieve this task for us. That sounds perfect. As we execute the playbook, notice that it has finished our task and produced a formatted note with all of our Intel sources. That's extremely useful for the analyst. Let's walk through how we can get that set up. To get this set up, we'll need to leverage two pre-built playbooks that will use the connectors for VirusTotal v3 and fish tank. To start, let's create those connectors. We'll go to our apps page and look for the virus total connector. Once we find it, we'll begin creating a new asset. We'll want to give it a name and enter our API key. If you need an API key for virus total, you can obtain it by signing up for a free account with VirusTotal.com. After we click Save and run Test Connectivity, we confirm that our connector is ready to go. Now let's return to our app's listing page and search for Fish Tank. You'll notice that Fish Tank is already set up. It's one of our pre-installed connector and it requires no configuration. Next we'll need to ensure that we have playbooks that leverage these connectors. As I mentioned, we want to use pre-built playbooks if possible, and this process is painless. We'll click the Associated Playbooks button and select the playbook we'd like to use. In this case, we have a playbook map to MITRE DEFEND called Fish Tank URL Reputation Analysis. For this playbook, we're using an out-of-the-box connector so no changes are required. We can go ahead and save a copy locally and begin using it right away. Next, let's return to VirusTotal. When we click on Associated Playbooks for VirusTotal v3, we notice a playbook called VirusTotal v3 Identifier Reputation Analysis, also mapped to MITRE DEFEND. We notice when we click into this playbook that an asset mapper appears. Let's run through that asset mapping process to take the asset that the playbook was built with and map it to the one we just created. And with that, it's done. We can save a copy locally. Now that we've ensured we have two connectors set up, and two playbooks ready to go, let's add this to our response plans. Returning to the playbook listing page, we want to look at the parent playbook that's going to use these two input playbooks we just set up. The Splunk content team has published several playbooks like this one called Dynamic Identifier Reputation Analysis. What this playbook does is it detects the category of playbook you'd like to use, in this case reputation, and automatically uses it in a response task and concludes that task for you. So with the description confirming that this is the playbook we want, we'll go ahead and save a local copy as well. Now let's go ahead and add this final playbook to our response task. Under Administration, Product Settings, and then Workbooks, we'll modify an out-of-the-box workbook to use our clone playbook. We will edit the task, add the playbook, and with that, we're done setting up identifier reputation analysis as we saw at the beginning of our video. This will work with any of the workbooks 
that you add this playbook to. Be sure to check out our other dynamic task-based playbooks on research.splunk.com slash playbooks. Now get automating.